I'm David Perry, sitting in for Casey Kasem. These are the most popular songs in the USA. And entering the survey at number 37, here's the second of this week's four debuts. It's by the British act called Spice Girls, a song that's already hit number one in England. This is Wannabe. <laughs> Yo, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna zig a zig ah. Casey's top well, now we're up to Say You'll Be There. It's by a British group dubbed the official pop band of the royal family. Fans for the female act, the Spice Girls, reach from one end of the social spectrum to the other, from kids on the street to members of the parliament. The leader of Britain's Labour Party, Tony Blair, has said in interviews that he thinks they're fantastically talented. He says he used to play guitar in a band back in his student days, and he knows how hard it is to make it. And he has nothing but admiration for the pluck and success of the Spice Girls. After the Spice Girls said in an interview that their role model was former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, she wrote them a Christmas card thanking them for their kind words and telling the girls that she loved their music too. And then there's the former Duchess of York, who's best known to the world by her nickname, Fergie. When she told a reporter that she was a big fan and proceeded to name all the members, the British press went wild. They dubbed the Spice Girls the official pop band of the royal family. Of course, this group's fans go far beyond the royal family. They're pretty popular here in the USA as well. Casey's Top 40 I'm Casey Kasem. Casey's Top 40 originates in Hollywood. And slipping two notches to number 13 is an act that recently appeared on Saturday Night Live. Here's the Spice Girls with their former top 10 wannabe. If you want my future, forget my past. If you want to get with me, better make it fast Now don't go wasting my precious time Get your act together, we could be just fine Casey's Top 40 I'm David Perry, sitting in for Casey Kasem. And tumbling seven notches to number 36 on Casey's Top 40 are the Spice Girls, a photogenic group that will soon have their own instant camera. It seems the Polaroid company has teamed up with the women to unveil the Spice Cam. The new camera will hit the stores in November, but there's one catch. It will be available everywhere but the USA. Here's the group that was born to be in pictures, the Spice Girls, with Say You'll Be There. And sliding six notches to number 34 on Casey's Top 40 are the Spice Girls, a group who recently exercised their well-publicized girl power and split with their management company. They say now it's time to look to the future, a future that includes their new CD titled Spice World and a new movie of the same name due to open here in the United States in January. Here they are now with their Top 10 smash, Two Become One. Casey Kasem. And rolling in at number 38 on Casey's Top 40, here's the first of our three debuts. It's by the number one act of 1997, a British group whose debut CD, Spice, has sold over 6 million copies in the U.S. alone. Recently, they hit movie theaters in America with a new film called Spice World. And this week, a song from their new album with the same name enters our survey. Casey's Top 40 for Casey Kasem, I'm David Perry. Rising two notches to number 19 are the Spice Girls, whose international success has given them plenty of financial freedom. In recent months, they've treated themselves to some rather expensive gifts. Victoria bought herself a gold Rolex watch. Emma bought a new Gucci suit. Mel C. picked out a pair of diamond earrings from Tiffany's. And Jerry bought a $1,000 antique cigarette holder. And what has Mel B. done with her money? Well, she recently paid off the mortgage on her father's home. Casey's Coast to Coast. I'm Casey Kasem. Now, let's open our book of records to the chapter on girl groups, where we'll find the only girl group in history to earn more than $50 million in one year. <laughs> 
It was back in 1998 that the Spice Girls were on top of the world. Their album titled Spice had reached 23 million copies sold. They had released a new album called Spice World. At the same time, their film debut titled Spice World, the movie, earned $75 million at the box office. And they went on a world tour selling out arenas around the globe. According to Guinness, that year, the Spice Girls earned more than $50 million, more in one year than any girl group in history. But just as they hit the top, everything started to fall apart. First, the group fired their founder, Simon Fuller. Then Spice Girl Jerry Hallowell left. The remaining members tried to continue, but one by one, they drifted off to solo projects. After a record-setting year, they had lost their spice. That's a page from our Book of Records. I'm Casey Kasem. Now on with the countdown. Come down with Casey Kasem.